what's up guys welcome back to another video so today we're going to be installing a very very simple install on our 2018 honda civic hatchback sport uh, we actually decided to go with a pl route intake the reason why i decided to go this route was because i'm gonna be honest i'm only really chasing sound so i didn't really see the necessity to get a cold air intake completely for this car i ended up buying this off of facebook marketplace um, on 10th gen civic performance parts uh, I hit the guy up and he just happened to be selling it here in los angeles so drove about an hour to la came back installed it i literally did this video in like maybe 15 minutes so all right the first step that's going to be is it's going to be very 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 simple take one two three four five six you can use all that with a phillips screwdriver also don't forget don't forget to disconnect your sensor really simple come on there you go that's out we're gonna leave that in there until all of this comes out so i got all that off this literally just comes off don't forget this piece right there is right here all you have to do is just take that out so this chilling next thing you need to do this piece right here comes off. And then that piece down there. And then this whole thing just pops out. Pulled it out. So this piece right there was hitting onto that bolt right there. And then this right here, this like cylinder cup was pretty much suctioned in there. So kind of just have to wiggle all this out, but this is all out, that's it. Anyways, the next thing you need to do, this bracket, it's gonna line up right here with these holes. When you buy this kit new, it should come with everything you need. I just happen to have some extra parts and they fit in there perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in there now. I ended up putting two washers that I had. Cool, that's done. This is secure. This piece is gonna go right on top of that hole right there. And it's gonna come with like a bolt like this. So all you do is plug it on the bottom and that's it. Last but not least, go ahead and just make sure all of these are tight. Look at that, it's pretty secure. Nothing's gonna happen to it. So I'm just gonna tighten that one down and tighten that one down and we're all set. When I mean this was easy, I mean, this was easy look at that it's already in so <laughs> it is going to get some heat soak in here but i'm going to explain short ram intake versus the cold air intake so now that everything is on go ahead and go ahead and start the car <laughs> you can actually hear it. <laughs> it's so quiet. Oh my god, that's funny. It's a cute little sneeze. Let me do it right here in third gear. <laughs> that's so cute. That is so cute. <laughs> Let me put the window up, see if you can hear it with the window up. Oh yeah, you definitely hear it. You definitely hear it inside. That's so much better. Not bad. Considering this was only 200 bucks, not bad. This was probably the easiest mod I have done to date. Yep, that sounds good. That sounds good for what it is. Your car sneezes now. Like Gotham? Yeah. It's actually pretty cute. You hear that? Yeah. You hear that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. 
<laughs> right? It sounds weird, huh? Yeah. Put the window down a little bit. Definitely need to clean underneath the engine bay, but no issues yet. Fits fine. Look, steady as a mofo. It's cute. It's funny. Like, it's, you hear love. Like, it, it just sounds like it's trying to sneeze without making any sound. It's, it's quite funny to hear. Now, here's the thing and i know you guys are gonna be like why did you get a hot box intake why did you get a short ram intake why because look one it was cheap and two prl has a conversion kit to where if i ever decide to want to go a colder intake route i can buy it off their website look right here i can buy it off their website i think it's like a hundred and like twenty dollars maybe a little bit less that is still cheaper than buying a brand new colder intake from their website i'm pretty sure i walked out with a w right here so I'm not really worried about it. Plus, we're not even trying to push power right now. This car is going to be the perfect daily for us, which we're still gonna be doing performance parts for it. We're gonna do a lot of cosmetic parts, considering we know the limitation of the CVT. I have read online that the CVT can push some power, so long as it's not too much strain on the transmission with the amount of torque that these cars produce. So I know for a fact the Faribault Stage 1 tune is most likely gonna be on par with what i need for this car uh considering their map one is like what 210 horsepower and like 240 foot pounds of torque which is probably more than enough but it's still faster than the stock si um i've driven one of these tuned off camera and they're pretty fun and quick like i'm saying quick not fast they're pretty fun to drive i think we decided to do that so k tune will definitely be in the ballpark for us as well uh, with the stage one Faribault tune. We're definitely gonna be doing a downpipe and a front bike combo. Um, we actually decided to go with a Type R exhaust considering Hector has one at his house that his car came with. So we're just gonna swap it over and put it on this hatchback right here just so we can have a lot better back pressure and have it just a little bit more sound. I don't want too much, just a little bit more. A full three inch cat back on a CVT, I just don't see myself or her wanting to do that. And then obviously you got the intercooler. I'm probably gonna go with PRL. I'm probably actually gonna do all PRL stuff on this car and then do 271 parts on my SI just since all I'm missing is the W2 and the turbo and the piping from, the, from them, so. Anyways, guys, like I said before, if you're thinking about doing this install, just do it. Even if you have the NA motor, this is such a stupid and simple install to do. It literally took me about 10 to 15 minutes to get this going. I mean, best bang for your buck if you just if you're just chasing sound anyways guys i will see you guys in another video you guys have a good day peace